Hey everyone, this is Mother from Technetia Studios. So first of all, thank you for watching this video. So uh, in this video, I would be comparing the two office suits uh, which uh, Microsoft has just released. That is v two variants of the same office suit. That is Office 2013 and Office 2000. Um, sorry, Office 365. So I would comparing both of them on the aspects of productivity, usage, and also um their costs and availability so before doing that i would like to show you in and introduce you to the new office suit and also its interface and all that stuff so let me just quickly open up them so first of all i would like to show you word yeah so i'm opening this for the first time i guess when i have installed so it would be also new for me oh it's automatically logged in into my live account so you see mother worldwide mother worldwide mother wide the live dot com so you see um in the beginning you see like the scroll bar is like windows 8 style and also the top buttons and also you get like recent uh, documents over this side and you can open other documents from this side so there's a vertical bar divided over here with this blue part over the side and then so you can take like different um, templates from here directly or you can create your own black document so just click black document so so as you can see these um, headers of these tabs have now been capitalized and as you know earlier like when you click on file tab it brings you to another video a uh, window sorry so there are tabs like home and search design and also you get like these banners or what they're called like patterns over the top which can be visible if you like full screen this video and you see them it in 720p so so that's basically it uh, for the layout for this word so you have like basically the same thing like uh, you can um, change everything from here like you did before only the graphics have changed a little bit not uh, necessarily very much but a little bit because they have be uh, became more uh, simplified and elegant so you see so let's close word now and let's open up like what powerpoint yeah let's open up powerpoint so you see um, the theme of the uh, program changes to the color of its um, like what we call it icon so you see here we have an orange bar and word we have a um, blue bar so let's click brand presentation so here you can see like I can add text so one thing that I have noticed that um, like typing is pretty smooth in this as compared in earlier versions it was not as smooth but like uh, the text when it comes it feels like uh, some kind of like I don't know how to explain this but I can see like some kind of easy ease effect is added to it so that's what it so all the like all the programs from office 13 have like same type of look they have consistently a theme which is like dividing the portion into uh, two parts one side one and one that one right and one left so on the right side you get templates on the left side you get uh, recent worksheets and all that so you can see in Excel we have green color and so in access we ha would have red info path would have purple link I don't understand what this is but I think it's like SharePoint which was in 2007 or I guess 2010 I don't know about 2010 one note we have light purple or violet you can say publisher we have a uh, peach green or something like that so you see it's basically the same thing all the time so you select the template you click create and downloads the template and does the work so it has downloaded the template and you see this lower version now 
the one thing comparison is wait a sec let's just where it's close yeah don't save file new bank book so first of all you'll see that the black black thing from here the select menu has gone and now these moving on to other cells is also elegant and also by default first of all we were provided with three sheets but now there's only one sheet but you can add other sheets so let's just remove this where's the lead yeah delete and also the status bar has also changed to the color and also it's a little elegant so you see it's basically the same the sigma symbol is also a little bit changed it is not like remain the earlier version but it's like M vertical M so that's basically it about the design of all these basic applications and office suite so so now let's take a look at the comparison so Microsoft Office 365 comes with SkyDrive, Word 2013, Excel 2013, PowerPoint 2013, OneNote 2013, Publisher 2013, Outlook 2013, and Access 2013. And also, um, with 7 gigs of free storage, you get 20 gigs of extra storage in SkyDrive by Win Microsoft. So there are like programs, 8 programs on this where as compared to Microsoft Office 2013 there are like SkyDrive, My Word 2013, Excel 2013, PowerPoint 2013 and OneNote 2013. In this version Microsoft just allows uh, or gives you a free storage of 7 gigs of data. So there's yet another advantage on Office 365 that you can install it on five PCs or Macs. Um, take care, that's Macs also. And in Office 2013, you can install it on just a single PC. So you get that thing, only a single PC. And also, you can install Office 365 on a temporary basis on a um, like on a computer so that you can get like mm, if you like forgot your data and you are like 700 and uh, something very far like 700 miles away from where you have kept your data you can if your that computer has internet access and you have internet access so you can just log in to your uh, uh, this SkyDrive or some account on any of the computer and you can temporarily install Microsoft Office 365 on that PC so that's it and also talking about the rates office 365 comes um, like on 99.99 dollars .99 per year whereas um, like office 2013 comes and um, like 139.99 dollars .99. so it's like basically um, you have to pay once for Office 2013 whereas in Office 365 you have to pay per year so this is now up to you which one do you want if you want like um, if you are satisfied with Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote it's up to you and but if you want like for business purposes like Outlook, Access and Publisher also you can choose Office 365 it's like also yeah, Office 365 is meant for the business users because it can be installed on five PCs at the same time. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned on Technetia Studio for more videos, tutorials and stuff. So, thanks for watching.